Hello, everyone, and welcome to Alaska Tracy's Office in the Trees, where we have a very special guest this morning, uh, Heidi Jandel Weiland. Thank you for being my guest this morning. I'm excited Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to talk to you this morning. It's a great way to start my day. Yeah, well, I, I really am excited to hear your backstory. I know a little bit of it, um, but Heidi has invited me to be a part of the Alaska Holistic Wellness Gathering, which is coming up uh, this Friday and Saturday, which if you're listening to this at a different time, it's April 10th and 11th, and we're smack dab in the middle of uh, home quarantined, the coronavirus, um, and, and this is an online event. So thank you for asking me to be a participant uh, in, that, in this event, I'm, I'm very excited. And I would like to know sort of a little bit about your story, Heidi, and how you came to be the uh, Vibrant Living Holistic Life Coach. Mm, excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you now it was an accident. <laughs> I never, <laughs> never thought that I would end up here. And it was, but I'm so grateful that I did. I've been an entrepreneur for um, over 15 years. And when I started, I can still remember starting. It was web, web design. I took a web design class. And as soon as I did, people started just throwing projects in my lap, which was awesome. You know, I'm like just out of college, like getting paid really well. But I remember waking up early in the morning, eight o'clock, going to my emails, going to my phone, and just like being very, very concerned and stressed out and perfectionist. And that became the foundation for my business. <laughs> so years go by and my business grows. I've got you know, more people, partners, employees, clients. We're doing all kinds of great projects. But I have this underlying kind of lack of self-confidence and perfectionism that drives me to burn out. So I get completely burnt out. I am just, I mean, I'm like suffering so much. I don't have any free time. I'm working all the time, no boundaries with my emails and all of that. And just like waking up in the morning, going to the bathroom and crying. It's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, what, when did that start? That kind of I think it started like there was a night, like there was a there was this balance of the business being awesome enough and like, and me really getting fed from it. Um, and that counterbalance things. Then it got to a point where it was just so exhausted and it took probably 10 years to get there. And then it took me a while to realize what was going on. Cause I thought that's just how you run a business, right? You're like, it's supposed to be hard. <laughs> 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 yeah. So my process of kind of realizing what was going on, I was burnt out and I needed to change. Then that the time it took for me to change. And so that, 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 that tr slow transition, I started finally investing in myself, um, taking time for myself. I did yoga teacher training and then I like that was amazing because I could turn my phone off, tell my employees, you can't, sorry, I'm not here for the next four hours. And just that experience of myself mm. in such a different state was, it was really motivating. So I kept um, pursuing things like that. I did Ayurvedic health counseling and just loved it. And then I decided that, okay, I need to really shift my careers. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I need to let go of, of the web stuff and start oh, creating space for something new. And I had all of these skills and I was seeing Ayurvedic people kind of on the side, um, clients, and then I got into life coaching and then it just kind of, my heart just kept pulling me forward and growing and so now, um, yeah, this is what I do. Wow. Did you, because you know I'm a planner, 
did you create a plan or did you take a leap of faith and I ha I had to take the leap of faith. I tried to plan. I tried to see, like decide, and I just wasn't moving. And so eventually, I was just like, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to basically surrender and and surrender, surrender the answers to some the higher power or kind of whatever, and trust, just trust that things would work out and. Uh, and it worked. <laughs> wow. And when was that that you made that leap of faith? That was, uh, that was before Christmas of 2018. Wow. And I think I met you the tail end of 20, yeah. maybe? I, in 2019. Yeah. I was transitioning. Okay. Uh, um, probably we, I bet we met a year ago. So I was really transitioning out of the web design and stepping into my new self as a coach. And it seemed, so I'm an outsider, right? So it seemed to happen really quickly. And, and I think a lot of times the perception that a lot of us have, and you and I work with a lot of women in business, we probably both hear it a lot, that we want or they want this instant gratification and we see others doing it and how come it's not happening for me and wow she's and I even emailed you one day and said oh my goodness you look like you're really doing well and, da, 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 da. and what's the behind the scenes really look like and mm. ha, like has it exploded <laughs> or or what's been the process to get you exactly where you're at mm -hmm. well the the big thing it's uh, what I call thought management. So just being aware of my thoughts and beliefs and how they are creating the results that I have right now, whether that's money or not money, clients or not clients, like all of that, um, taking that as my responsibility and through what I'm thinking. So every day I do thought work. I, I, I'm really, really aware of, of how I feel and how I'm showing up and that I'm kind of living into the future instead of just recreating the past. And that is a process because it's, per it's total personal growth. I mean, it's business development too. And as you move forward, you start to get through the layers and then there's more stuff to work on. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I found the process to be very uh, organic for me and um, it hasn't been a big explosion. It's been a, a nice, manageable, um, steady, steady growth, which I'm really grateful for. Wonderful. So, so what would, who would come to you? Great question. Uh, <laughs> So this has been something because I have so many, so many skills. It's been something that uh, I, I've spent a lot of time thinking about. So my focus now, it's, um, it's like people who, who have experiences like me. So introverted women in their 30s who are ready to step into their true power and find their life purpose. Wonderful. You've really niched it down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's so fun. It's just the best work ever to help women with this. I wish I would have had someone that could come, had come into my life and, and helped, helped kind of smooth things along. But that's, uh, that's how I, you know, everyone has their path. Yes. And so what would that look like to work with you? Uh, so it's, it's similar to this where we have uh, online, online sessions, of course, now everything's online. Um, and we, we really get to know where the person's at, where she wants to be. And if she, you know, and oftentimes we don't know, like I didn't know. So there's this process of, of getting in touch with the deeper desires and starting to take actions towards them so you can build confidence. And also all along the way, it's like looking at the thoughts and beliefs and finding like, okay, what, what's, what's holding you back right now? Where is there room for growth? And like, 
like what do you need to like become in order to really step into your full power wonderful so one-on-one -on -one coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching yes and then what how, how did you come up with the alaska holistic wellness gathering yeah uh that you know it was um you know, I feel like it was so long ago, but it was really just a few weeks ago when we started, we started having everything closed here in Alaska. And I had some, I had two in-person events planned at Open Space Yoga. Uh, and one was like a two day yoga immersion retreat and this was super fabulous. And so I was interacting a lot with the owner, Svia, and just really imagining what she must be going through and um, as, a, as a studio owner, as a, you know, that's, that's her livelihood. All of the people who go to the studio who won't have that space, that community interaction. And then of course, thinking about everyone else here in Anchorage and in Alaska that like the, these places that you go to for connection and um, and, and wellness, like they're not available and we need that more than ever. So I, I just, I spent a, a morning asking myself, how can I serve right now? Like, what do people need? And this came to mind. And because I have all of the tech skills, I have all of the, you know, I've got contacts. It's like, I've got all of the ingredients, you know, is this something that I need to do? And so I took, I sat in front of my meditation um, space and just asked for some guidance and it was a resounding yes. <laughs> wow. wow. And it's a wonderful lineup. I'm looking at the, um, mm -hmm. so, so many great speakers and presenters and inspiring thought leaders. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. And I'll put, um, links, uh, um, below, uh, wherever I'm posting this, uh, YouTube, uh, the Women's Success Community online, wherever, I'll put a link for how you can register and, and see some of the teachers and the classes. It looks like, how many of us are participating as instructors? I think there's 14. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sessions, and um, half of the money is... So yeah, some of the money will be going to Beans Cafe. Okay, right? good. good. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And and what because you are a visionaire, what what do you what's your vision of the event? My vision is a place where people like minded people can come together, and they, there's the opportunities to connect. You know, there's a chat feature. I'm going to be facilitating and really encouraging involvement. Um, also to get information and inspiration and positive input. I think we all need that right now. And this is a, re a resource for like everyone in one place. You have uh, replays of everything. So you can always go, go back. It's not, you know, a lot of us are feeling kind of saturated with online stuff. So it's not like you have to be there the whole time, but they'll have it forever. And I know for me, I, I've been following some of my teachers and their online offerings and just having them in my space, hearing their voice, it helps me to feel connected. So I, that's really, you know, what I want, want this to be. And I want it to be fun too. Like it's just a, a place to like, let, like let everything outside just settle down for a bit and have some fun. Wonderful. Oh, it's going to be a, a wonderful event. And again, thank you for inviting me to participate. Mm, I'm so glad to have you. So my last question for you is when you're in the struggle, when you're in that place of complete, oh, an obstacle in life, uh, and we're all going to have them, right? We've got one now. Um, what's your advice on how to move forward? I think two things. Or your experience, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two things is it's first to um, to acknowledge and settle into that challenge instead of 
<clears throat> pushing it away. Because I think that creates a lot of resistance and, su and, <clears throat> and suffering because we're like, I shouldn't feel this. I don't want to feel this. Just go away. So taking some time to be with it and see that it's, it's, um, <clears throat> it's not that bad. It just feels awful. But you're, you're totally capable of handling it. And then from that space of like realizing you can handle it, like starting to like di dissect, well, okay, like, okay, what am I thinking about this? Like, what, what do I believe? And starting to see that, okay, these are, um, this is just, these are just kind of words that I have about, about this experience. So what are some new words that I can adopt that will um, help to create a different experience? help to create a, a kind of a different me. And sometimes it's just something as like as simple as um, I, I have what it takes. I love that. I love that. I'm writing that down. That's, that's, that's the one I'm using right now. It's working well for me. So do you do that when you're meditating? Do you use those words in meditation? I do. And then I do journaling every day. So finding these positive beliefs that I can use to like fuel my day. And it's not to say that like the, the negativity doesn't still come up in my mind, but I have an alternative that feels true, that gives me energy that I can tap into to help me move forward. So when you're journaling, are you writing all the negatives too? Yeah, yeah, I'll write. It's, it's like a, a brain dump. So mm -hmm. just to get them out and see like, okay, this is what's happening in my brain. I don't, I don't get into them. Like I don't start getting into the story. I just observe. Okay, so I see all these thoughts. No wonder I feel like crap. <laughs> and then that gives me some perspective and power to start shifting. Good. Wonderful. Last question. I know I said it was the last question before. How do you define success in your life? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, honestly, it's feeling. It's feel it's feeling feeling that I'm at my like full capacity as a human. So that's self-expression, that's connection, that's abundance. Yeah. Wonderful. Not one person that I've interviewed has said money. Really? No. That's oh. awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're all about, you know, uh, community uh, fulfillment from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what an honor to have you here today. And um, I will in the show notes or uh, wherever I post this, I will share information how you can get a hold of Heidi if you would like to work with her, and if you would like to attend the event um, that is coming up this weekend. So thank you so much for being my guest and sharing your story with us today. Mm, thank you, Tracy. It's such an honor to be on here and connect with you and everybody else. So, and thank you so much for being a part of the event. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you. You're such a grounding, like every time I talk to you, I feel this. <laughs> Almost like we just did a meditation. <laughs> <laughs> sort of a grounding calmness mm. I hope all of you that are listening felt that as well thank you for joining in today everyone and I look forward to talking to you again in the near future thanks so much